and welcome to HP Calcs. I'm Rick and today we're going to have a quick look at how to solve trig functions on the TI-30XA calculator. To do this we'll be using the sine, cosine, and tangent keys located here, as well as the second function key that looks like this and is located here, as well as the inverse key that looks like this and is located here. Now, the examples I'll be doing here will be using degrees, so the first thing we want to do is make sure our calculator is set to degrees. You can confirm that it is by seeing the DEG on the top of the screen here. If you don't see DEG, but rather see a RAD or something like that, you can change it by pressing DRG button here. So you might see RAD, or you might see GRAD, but keep pressing it until you see the DEG. Alright, now that we're set correctly, if we wanted to simply do a sine, cosine, or tangent, first we enter the number of degrees. So for sine of 30 degrees, we would enter 30, sine, and get sine 30 degrees equal to 0 0.5. Same with cosine, 30 degrees, cosine gives us a cos 30 of 0 0.8660. Yeah, there we go. And tan 30, again 30, and then tan gives us a tan 30 of 0 0.5774, rounded. But what if we wanted to find something like cosecant, secant, or cotangent? Well, to do that, all we have to really do is inverse the corresponding function. So, if we wanted to find cosecant of 30 degrees, First we would do sine of 30 degrees, same way as before, sine 30, and we get 0 0.5. And then what we want to do is inverse this with this 1 over x key, and we see we get 2. So we know that cosecant of 30 degrees is equal to 2. For secant, we do the same but with cos, so we go 30 cos, 0 0.8660, like before, and then inverse that to get a secant of 30 degrees equal to 1.1547. For cotangent, we use tan, so 30 tan, and inverse that to get 1.7321, etc. We can also do arc sine, arc cos, and arc tangent on this calculator, and those are actually functions built in. They're the second function of the sine, cos, and tan key, that sine minus 1, cos minus 1, tan minus 1. And these take us from our result, let's say 0 0.5, back to however many degrees we used to get that. So if we want to do arc sine 0 0.5, we would place 0.5 on the screen, and then press second function, sine takes us to 30, so we know that sine of 30 degrees is equal to 0 0.5, and arc sine of 0 0.5 is equal to 30. Doing it with cosine, remember we got rounded 0 0.8660, so we put 0 0.8660 on the screen, and then press second function cos, we get what would round to 30 degrees. And for arc tan, again, Remember, we got 0 0.5774, so 0.5774, second function tan, and again, we get what would round to 30 degrees. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.